Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking, I'd Eat That. And today I am flying solo. And if you are wondering what happened to John, there's a video, we'll link it below or up here, you can watch that. But I'm gonna probably be solo for a few weeks here. John's gonna be coming in and out when he can. But today I'm gonna be doing a review on the beloved J Box. Let me turn this around. J Box. And we got some fries. The Roost Fries. Am I saying that right? I think so. Roost, yeah. Roost Fries. Mess with my lighting. I am on my way to work and I work at night. So I'm trying to get this done. I got some lights set up in my car. I know, kind of ghetto, but do it when I can do it. So we got a, we got the spicy and the classic. All right, jalapenos on it right there. Nice little clean shot. Gotta take some pictures. Got some jalapenos on it. Those look spicy. They smell good. They really do. So it looks like we got some, is that chicken in there? Mmm. This looks good. It really does. Let me get some, uh, let me do some of my professional photography here with my, uh, with my cell phone. Classic Roost Fries features a bed of hot and salty fries topped with all white meat chicken pieces, cheddar cheese sauce, and shredded cheddar cheese, all finished with a drizzle of Roost sauce. And then they have spicy Roost Fries, which uh, consists of french fries loaded with 100% all meat chicken pieces, cheddar cheese sauce, and shredded cheddar cheese. And then it's all topped off with sliced jalapeno and drizzled with a spicy mystery sauce. So pretty much very similar. Obviously, you just got jalapenos and a spicy mystery sauce on the spicy. So we're going to go in, and I'm going to go right in. I'm going to hit it with the, uh, I guess I got the classic open right now. So I'm going to, hmm. Fries is always at J Box, or you know, they're not the best fries in the world, but they're usually pretty hot, usually pretty fresh. Very good. I'm gonna grab a piece of this chicken. Mmm. Grab one more fry. Kind of try and chew it with the chicken. Not wanting to behave. Wow. Mmm. Very good. All right, I'm gonna move right on to the spicy here. As you all know, I'm not the biggest spice guy in the world, but I, I have been a fan of jalapenos. You know, I've always liked jalapenos. It's just those, uh, you get too much of the seeds and whatnot. All right, so fried, a little mystery, spicy mystery sauce, that's what it's called. All right, grab one, grab a jalapeno right here. I'll go ahead and get a piece of chicken, grab it with a fry. There you go, all three together. Wow, that's very good. So let me jump right in. Obviously it's just me, video's not gonna be as long. The fries, as always, I always say, J-Box fries are always pretty hot. They're always pretty fresh. So I always do enjoy that about Jack in the Box. Yeah, it's just a good little snack. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna I'm gonna give the uh, spicy ones a 3.2. And on the classic, I know I'm not, I'm not a spice guy, but I'm gonna give them a three. The spicy ones are, are, are doing it for me. I, I do like jalapenos and the flavor just, it just really works. It's pretty good. All around, it's a good little snack. J Box and all these other fast food restaurants, we literally have no clue how long it's gonna be on the menu. So get out there and try it. It is a decent little snack. I got on the way to work and it was it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. This is a wrap, as John would always say. I would definitely eat that. I would definitely buy it again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell, get notifications. 
and check out all our other videos. Check out our merch, jbroscooking.com, our cutting boards. J-Box, you know, we like to make fun of you, but most of the time, you don't disappoint. Although the other day when I walked over from Discount Tire, when they were changing my tire, and I walked all the way over there, and you didn't even have a sign on the door, and it was just locked. That was disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. That was disappointing, J-Box. Another episode of I'd Eat That with J-Bros Cooking.